I'm Mike Wilker, co-chair of the Washington Interfaith Network, lead pastor of Lutheran Church of the Reformation and Ward 6 resident. As leaders from other wind congregations and the workers from DC Streetcar, DC Circulator, and Metro Access have testified, giving public work to private, for-profit companies has failed to provide fair workplaces and middle-class jobs. I'm also testifying today, though, to say thank you to the workers for their care of my children and my parishioners. My son takes the DC Circulator every day from Union Station to Duke Ellington School for the Arts, and before him, my daughter used the Circulator and Wamata buses to attend Hardy Middle School and School Without Walls. As a parent, the safety of my children is paramount. Every day, the maintenance workers make sure the buses can safely carry our children and other passengers. Every day, operators are driving safely and monitoring the atmosphere and the safety of their passengers. I want to publicly thank the members of the Amalgamated Transit Workers for your diligence and hard work to keep our children safe and to help us all enjoy and share the benefits of the District of Columbia. But we also know that you are working under conditions that disregard and ignore your public service on our behalf. Even under such conditions, you are raising your voices for justice for yourselves and for prosperity for all of us. It's clear that the contractors are simple cost cutters, gunning to get the most out of us. But the workers are my children's guardians, driving to give us and the entire district their best. Therefore, council members, the Washington Interfaith Network and I ask you to provide intense oversight around safety and quality of rider service. The days of using the layers of contracting in order to distance the government directors from responsibility is over. We taxpayers can only hold our government accountable and we intend to do it. We will not abide by the fiction that our public transit service do not do the work of government. Passing the buck to contractors will not work anymore. Thank you.